Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind Vanilla Server. We're still here at the Iron Farm. We've got the courtyard done. We've got the castle walls done. It's time to turn our attention to the towers. Let's get started. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. The courtyard is done. Look at that. I love how that turned out. It turned out really good, really good. But we still got some work to do. We're still showcasing all of the redstone right now. We need to hide it. So I'm going to start on this tower right here. We can use some of the BW Castle pieces really well on this one. And uh, that's because we don't have the strange door configuration. This is pretty simple. It's five wide and it doesn't matter how far out we go as long as we don't cover up this section right here. Over there we're going to have a little bit more work to do because we've got that weird configuration right there on that first layer. And then if as we go up right there at the top, really strange configuration that we've got to work through. So we'll get to that one in a bit. But what I want to do is, well, you hear the music coming in. We are going to build this and uh, we're going to do a little speedy up bit. So let's roll that time lapse. back ladies and gentlemen hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse i quite enjoyed putting that together and i'm really excited to be able to share this with you at this point because i have been doing this plan in my creative testing world for quite some time and it's finally coming together for you so you're able to see it i'm able to uh, just let you guys in on this process but but there we go we are using the BWO castle pieces. Uh, once again, we've got the bottom tower. It's a circle design that he came up with in there. And then I moved into a couple of different wall structures, one right there and then one again right there. And then that goes into another of his crenellation details there, all the same diameter. I think it's a nine diameter circle right there. And then I have to move into a five by five 
structure all the way up because of that door right there. There's one right here that you can see. And then there's another one on the other side, the wall that we can't see. And we have to keep skylight all the way up or sky access all the way up because that's a detector village. So moved into a, some wall designs that were in that BW Castle pieces world download and then just copied the same structure all the way up and then just played with a few details here in the corners to kind of break up the kind of the monotony. So we definitely don't want that. And the iron farm is still running and that means that this design is not getting in the way of any of the mechanics, but this is not the only tower we've got to do. We've got two towers to do. This one's a little bit more involved because we've got these two structures, one right here. And then as we go up all the way up there, and we've got to work a design around that. Now I've been contemplating how I'm going to present that to you because we are going to build it. But I was thinking, you know, we could do jump cuts, but then I don't really have a lot of time for jump cuts. Instead, I think I'm going to try something that I don't know that I've, I may have done it once before, but I haven't done it in a while. We're going to do two time lapses in this video. So you hear the music coming in. I will see you on the other side. And gentlemen, what do you think of that time lapse? Yeah, maybe the time lapse wasn't so good, but what do you think about this build? Man, oh man, I am excited about this. And we are done. And look at this. We got that one over there. And then we got this one over here. 
Sun's about to set here on the Hypermind Vanilla server, but there we go. The towers are done. And they fit within our constraints, so we're not messing with the village detector mechanics at all. So I am happy for that. So that means that the major parts of our design here at the Iron Towers, at the Spawn Castle, are done. So we need to figure out what's left. And so one of the things, uh, let me take a sleep here real quick, is we need to work on the fact that we've got, uh, well, you see it right here. Look at that. We got a torch and a torch. And we've got plenty of torches all around capping off our um, our pillars here, our wooden pillars. So we need to do something about that. I could just put a um, some sort of a cap on it, like a half slab or something like that. Again, I said half slab, and it's not really a half slab. That's not what we use here. We use slabs. Um, but I was thinking something more along the lines of a lamp um, or a lantern of some form. So let's just take a look here. I'm, I might have to use a pillaring mechanism. Let's do this. And I tried out this kind of design in my creative testing world. And we're going to set that to nighttime. So the lamp will only turn on at night. Let's drop down, maybe knock that one off and do three there. We'll go three high and just see how that goes. And then we'll do this, right click, turn it to a night detector. And then let's just drop down, take a look, see what we think. Okay, so there's three right there. And, and, and it looks fine, except when you get to this part right here. So we've got two of these caps right together. I don't know that two of those side by side would be such a good idea. Let's just get a few more of these. I ran out. I had to get, I had to redo a lot of the crafting here. Um, maybe let's go up like this. What if we just tried, uh, how about just one? Let's do that. And so we'll do lantern, lantern, and there. And notice it changes color. Okay. You can't really see it because of the shulker boxes, but let's come over here and see what we think. Mm, I don't know. They need to be a little bit more prominent, I would I would assume, based on based on the fact that our central pillar, our central keep area is is kind of prominent. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not entirely sold on that. Uh, I can't jump up there, I guess. How about I do that? Yeah, I'm not entirely sold on the just one high. Let's try right on top and see what that does. Let's do that and that. And I don't know that this is going to be any good either. Hmm. Let's grab that. These are fairly expensive. Although we do have the witch farm, but it's not... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know what I'm probably going to have to do? I mean, I've got I've got this in my creative testing world, but that just doesn't look good. It's the stone fence right on top of the pillar. I... <laughs> Let me go off camera and see what I can figure out. I'll play around probably in my creative testing world and see if I can come up with something that I like a little bit better. But for sure, this is not working. And I don't think the three high fence is going to be very helpful either, at least on where we've got these two pillars right side by side or fairly close to side by side. I don't think that's going to work so much. Let me go off camera before we dilly dally too much and I'll bring you back once we've figured out something a little more. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I played around with this a little bit more. Take a look. We've, we're using the chiseled stone brick and then a cobblestone fence, and then that light detail, lantern detail. I think that's good. So the tallness of the three cobblestone fences, that was, I, I don't know, having them too close together just didn't seem to work so well. But over here, I think that's fine. Let's take a look at this at nighttime. We've got that ability here. Let's see. 
Slept until sunset. I guess this is sunset. Will it let me turn it tonight? Okay, there we go. There we go. And they all turn on. That's good. Okay. Okay. Let's go take a look from over here. From the keep area. And let's see how that turned out. I don't know. See, if they get too tall, then they detract from the keep. But at the same time... Oh no, this might be best that we can do at the moment so let's just keep it like this for now I will carry this all around to all the different caps that we've got all the different wooden pillars that we've got all the way around let's turn this back to daytime because we can so we've got some on the other side and then we've got some more down here along the uh, you know ocean view here so let me let me carry this design all the way around, and then we might just have to leave it for a while and see what we think. But do leave a comment down below if you think we could try something different. So I'd love to hear your suggestions for it, but let me carry that all around, and then I'll bring you right back. Let's see, I messed one up here. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. Let's go like this, and then back down. And then we'll move the bed out of the way. There we go. And here. And I moved those as well. The light detectors. Okay. Daylight sensors. That's the name for them. Let's drop down. So here's a look at the overall picture. Okay. So we've got, got it all along here. And what I think we should do is maybe go for a little flyby. And this is a duration three, so we've got a bit of a flight ahead of us. All right, we'll come back in, and here we go. It's a little flyby of what, what this looks like at night with all of them all around. So what do you think? Overall, I think, you know, it looks all right. Um, still not sold on it, but maybe we just have to get used to it. Okay. Maybe that's the, the ticket here. So what I want to do is sleep real quick and get rid of the daytime. Can we do right there? Yeah, there we go. We'll have to make sure that that is non-spawnable right there. Okay. Just a heads up, I have been having some issues with my internet provider. And we might get kicked from the server here. We have been getting kicked fairly frequently lately. Especially around the iron farm. I don't know what it is. Everybody else seems to be fine, so it's just me. And I think it's because my internet service provider has been giving me far less service than they have promised that they would give me, so I'm going to have to have a talk with them. But anyway, I like that. I like that. We'll, we'll leave that as is. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, but for now, we need to turn our attention to the courtyard, and I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping. We're going to go off camera, maybe bring in some leaves and, and hidden lighting. We're going to get rid of all these torches, but I'm going to work on that off camera. I'll bring you back and show you what I've put together. So, See you in just a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm just taking a fly by the towers here just to get a feel for that. What we're going to do is drop in on the landscaping here so I can show you kind of what I've put together. I didn't bring you along for this because really I didn't have much of a plan other than let's just try and make this as organic as possible. So... Uh, you can't really, um, you can't really plan that out. I guess you could, you could, but then trying to copy it back uh, after you've done it, I don't know. So we've kind of made it a little bit of a natural wasteland in here. Brought in some grass blocks and then turned that into paths. We definitely don't want any grass blocks hanging around because that's going to cause us to have passive mob spawns around. So 
Definitely don't want to do that. But what I've done is just carried this pathway all around so you can walk without jumping all the way around. Thought about maybe bringing some more coarse dirt in and kind of interspersing that, but I, I didn't. Uh, that's just, I just didn't think about it until later. We've got a bunch of different types of foliage just kind of climbing the walls, almost as if this place has been uh, run down a little bit. I had some, it's been here for a while, okay, and the plants have grown up. So uh, along the pathway, we've got a little bit of grass poking through, but Overall, the taller grass is going to be off to the sides because otherwise people would be walking on it and kind of tearing it down. So anyway, let me know what you think. So I just want to give you a good walk through here, give you a feel for what what I've done. You've put in a little well right here, and I haven't finished my or refilled my bucket either. But there we go. Little well. You kind of need one, one of those in a castle courtyard. And we've got the mushrooms dotted about here. Provide a little bit of color, not too much. Again, just little pops of color here and there, but mostly natural color. Greens, browns, the muted grays. Yeah, so anyway, all in all, I am pretty pleased with how the landscaping has turned out. And I'm pleased with how the towers have turned out. And given that, it means that this part of the project here at Spawn is done. And... Let's just take another flyby. We'll fly out this way, and then we'll see if we can get a good sneaky screenshot. What do you think? How about that? Yeah. Oh, man. I, I'm i enjoying this overall design. I, I like it. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. That's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on in the channel. That's going to be it for this week. And join me next week as we figure out what project to get into next. There's still stuff to do here, but I want to get back to the witch farm and see if we can do some, some work there. So we might be out over in the perimeter. Who knows? Until next week, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.